Hey, and welcome back for another ISO Bytes video series. In this video series, we'll talk about ISO 42001 AI management system. I'll cover all of the clauses four through 10, as well as all of the Annex A controls and give you everything you need to get your organization certified. The next set of Annex A controls is internal organization A.3. The objective of these controls is to establish accountability within the organization to uphold its responsible approach for the implementation, operation, and management of AI systems. Now, there are two controls here that are pretty big. You need to really spend time thinking about these. The first control is A.3.2, AI roles and responsibilities. This is going to be a very large control on paper because you need to determine all of the parties within the organization that's responsible for doing all of the things that relate to the AI management system. So the control language states, roles and responsibilities for AI shall be defined and allocated according to the needs of the organization. Now that's not just who develops AI systems or who uses them or who benefits from them. That's also who determines if they're appropriate. That's who measures them. That's who holds parties accountable for sticking to policy. There's a lot involved here. So think about that. The next control is A.3.3, reporting of concerns. This is also very important because you need to ensure that there are mechanisms in place for people to report concerns around the use of AI. So the control states the organization shall define and put in place a process to report concerns about the organization's role with respect to AI systems throughout its life cycle. That could be employees, that could be external parties, that could be leadership, that could be staff, that could be all kinds of people. So I would recommend probably an anonymous reporting mechanism, but you do want to be able to show that people are able to report any concerns they have around the use or misuse of your AI systems. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you still have questions about 42001, please reach out to us at risk360.com to see if we can help. Also, make sure to check out the description for some important links to other materials that'll help you as you take your organization on this journey.